You like that tree? <laughs> the future milking room. This is the before. What's my girl doing? Doing good? Ah, oh, you're chilling. Chewing the con, living your best life with your children. Until Annie shows up. Hi. Hi, my sweet Annie. Hi. Sissy love each other, right? We don't fight. Sissy love each other. Say hi, Sissy. Say hi. I love you, Sissy. I love you. I'm so... I'm so excited to see Annabelle's kids. She's starting to show a little bit. Um, last year she didn't get too big because she she had a single big boy, Mr. Taz. Right, Mama? Oh, but I really would love for her to. She's so sweet. She's so she's not sweet to goats, but she's so sweet to humans. And you're so sweet, Miss Annie. And she can stay. I mean, I can pet her for an hour here and she won't move. She's very, very needy. But as you can see, she's starting to show she has a baby bump. Let me touch that baby bump. Oh, it's so cute. It is so cute. Baby bumps are cute. You need a new color. This one is kind of faded, huh? You want pink? I'll get you a pink one anyways I'm so excited for her to have babies she's gonna have Brock's babies and I, of course I'm gonna try to keep a doe if she does have a doe and I, wish. I am putting my request for those babies okay um, as you cook them I'd like um, a white baby girl pulled blue eyed and with little black random black on it okay can you get on that oh and she needs to be perfectly healthy and all your children need to be healthy you have to have an easy delivery everything's gonna go great okay Okay, I love you, sweet girl. Then I'm going to add a little bit of this, which is rubbing manure tea that is kind of thick and I'm going to put it over the top. So grass first, then a little bit of soil, then a little bit of rabbit manure tea. With some straw and fine shaving. Then I'm gonna measure and make sure that it's tall enough. Now it needs a little bit more soil underneath.
Now I'm gonna do a mix of the half show soil that was here and some potting soil to give a little bit of room to breathe because clay will choke it. If you remember when we were talking about the soil, clay soil has a lot of good minerals. And ours in particular is very acidic. So it helps even more for the blueberries. you can see right there it's already flowering this is a um, uh, chipewa which is a mid-season productive variety and they're supposed to yield medium large firm dark blue fruit and it's supposed to have full sun and needs well-drained soil so I did work on the soil on this one and I mulched it with the grass clippings uh, for this is a raspberry mm, what it's called it's a graft I guess um, it has nothing that's how I bought it it does have some roots and I did work the soil and I mulched it with Grass and here I planted this strawberry. They are the variety seascape and as you can see right there I also worked the soil underneath and I mulched it with the grass clippings as well. So with the bass and the boys being nearby I may have induced or helped Clara going to heat. <laughs> Some people say it's, it's not possible, but I'm telling you, when there's a buck around, it's very, very likely. And how do I know? Because she turns into a maniac. She's been loud all day. She's been looking for me everywhere. <laughs> Look at this little What do you need? What is it that you need? Oh really? Yeah, your mom will be fine. Just wants to spend some time with your your dad. Yeah, she's a little needy right now. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. You'll be fine. And Mr. White and Cass over there. They've been talking to each other all morning since Clara's in heat. You sound like a preteen. You are so pretty. No boyfriend for you. No, no, no boyfriend for Gaia. Not yet. Not yet. You're gonna be fine, Clara. I know. It'd be nice to have a boyfriend, but not yet, okay? Not yet. It's not time for boyfriends, I'm sorry. Even if you give me that sweet smile. You can't have a boyfriend, I said it. There. Be a mother. Mr. Black. You're my sweet boy, Mr. Black. And that is the crier. It's always crying for his mom. You're so mean. I need to keep working on the garden. I'm sorry, my boy. Yeah, that boy can't be your boyfriend either. I'm sorry. No boys allowed for good, period. No girls allowed to be with boyfriends. I'm sorry. Are you living your best life, little girl? 
Aww, poor baby. You two are not ready. So don't even think about it. So I'm gonna start my seeds, or some of them. This should have been done a long time ago, but this is the one, the potting mix I've been using. This is the one that you can get. I think it's about $11 at Walmart. It's not what you should be starting your seeds in, according to most gardeners, but it, I've started seeds in this, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's basically looking like a seed starting mix. Um, I, I don't know the kind that you get, but the kind that I get looks exactly like this. So that's why I've been using it to start seeds and I really don't have any problems with it. So that's what I'm going to do. And to do that, I'm going to put soil in this wheelbarrow and then I'm going to get it wet so that way when I put it in this cells they're gonna be already wet and here you can see the difference this is a seed starting mix and this is the one from Walmart it feels exactly the same way but this one the Walmart one it's a little bit more wet you can feel it wet while this one it really dries up very very easily And it shouldn't be soaking wet, just like this. Make sure you mix it really well. In here I have uh, bell peppers, tomatoes, jalapenos, and all kinds of um, kind of warm weather uh, crops. And this being so warm, it's really gonna trick him into thinking that it's time to sprout. I was kind of late with the broccoli, but as you can see, it is sprouting. Although I have noticed that probably a slug has been messing with them. So I've been living oh. Now in this one I have cool uh, crops that are broccoli, all of them are broccoli. Here I have spinach, then in this one I have bright lights, this is, I can't think of the name, I'll put it on the screen, and this is butter crunch lettuce. And over there, those are peas. So none of these really need a lot of heat to sprout or to thrive. They're cool weather crops, so that's why they are not over there. Strawberries. I'm gonna use one of these frames that I've been using for the garden. And I'm gonna use a wheelbarrow full of manure that I got from the boys. I'm not even gonna mess with the soil underneath. It's very clayish. But with 
the amount of nitrogen that that has it will help decompose way fast and getting to actually the sides of the frame it's okay because this is gonna start to decompose and it's gonna go down And now I'm gonna add some potting soil on top. So let me do this bare roots that I got from Walmart. There's 10 of them here and it's the all-star June bearing one. And you're supposed to put it in full sun. So we will see how it goes. Okay, so I was mentioning in another video that I mulch with the goat's house clean out. And sometimes that means that it has uh, hay, so it will sprout grass. So what I do is what I did right here. So as you can see right there, this was growing grass, but instead of growing weeds where you have to really work hard at it, all you do is just turn them around. So you go here, turn them around, and then they die. Same here. But you brought, some people say, well, it's like weeding. Not really, because you just lift it and turn it. And they, you know, the roots are in the straw, so you don't really have to mess with the bottom. Turn it. Turn it. And you can see the kind of life that this is bringing into the soil. So to me, it's, this is work that is not really a lot. I can get it done pretty fast. And it's feeding the soil with stuff that I would have had to wait for months to actually use it in the garden as finished compost so now this is gonna dry and it's gonna look yellow again and whenever I see that the grass is growing these are my roses 
side you grab. It's like a little mat that I just turn. It won't take me more than a few minutes because these are not the weeds that have deep roots. This is just the grass growing in the hay. And of course I didn't invent this. This is in the book of uh, Ruth Stout. You can see it right there how amazing this has been for the soil. This is how good the mulching works. And so just turn it. Make sure there's no green parts to the top and you're back in business. Now the nice thing about mulching with leaves is that you won't get that like this one i just mulch it with grass that's not actual grass but there's still some grass that will grow in between the leaves unless it's super super thick and super super um you know shaded at the bottom but that's another great solution but this won't break down as easily because it does need you can see it stays pretty dry because it does need the nitrogen that this lacks. This is just carbon. So very different mulching style. There they are. They're always following their mom. She has food available 24-7. And Mr. Black won't stop bugging her. So much so that he now is not the smallest Still one being a little grumpy so her kids instead of hanging out with her well which now they're coming but instead of hanging out with mom they're mostly hanging out with annabelle our little auntie annie over there so it's kind of interesting how pregnancy really changes a dough <laughs> here comes clara She's like i'm itchy children do you want to know who's a crier? Mr. Gao's a crier. He's a crier for sure. Not like Gaia. Gaia's not a crier. She's a big girl now. She's been hanging out with Annabelle uh, in the sun. Like they sit together. They even sleep together. Now they're trying to be mama's girls, but she's actually hanging out more with Annabelle because I think she wants to be the queen here. Yes, yes, yes. She wants to be the queen. And she knows that her mama is just having a bad time <laughs> during her pregnancy. But she's a sweet girl. She doesn't care about being anything queen. And our little girl, Athene. What do you guys need? Do you need love? Is that what you need? Oh, my lovely. Hi. Hi, my baby. Mm. You guys are so, so cute. Hi, my Hi. Hi.